Hi, this is Gina Golden with Inner Coach Counseling, and I am here to talk to you yet again about AI and mental health. And what I have in store for you is going to blow your mind. Again, let me say that there are pros and cons to AI technology. We know that, absolutely. Well, if you didn't know it, I'm here to tell you, and I want you to research that. There are definitely pros and a lot of cons in the mental health space. I am searching for the most ethical ways to use AI in my practice. And I'm going to share something with you that's going to blow your mind. I find it very exciting what AI can do. And let me tell you, it's just a lot of work running um, practices and seeing clients, right? Um, and so if we could find something to help alleviate our day-to-day -day work a little bit, then I'm all for it. So let's go to let me share my screen maybe it already has some so let me scroll down and see and there you have it it says here is a biopsychosocial assessment form it has client information name date of birth gender describe the main reason for seeking social status living situation cultural or religious background biological factors physical health medication nutrition and exercise habits psychological factors previous social factors, family support, social support, history of trauma or abuse, legal or financial issues, developmental his history, uh, early childhood background, adolescent and young adult experiences goals for seeking therapy, expectations and preferences. What do you hope to achieve through therapy? Do you have any preferences for therapeutic approach or techniques? Okay. Strengths and resources. List your personal strengths and resources that you believe will help you in their in your therapeutic journey, confidentiality, standards, and any limitations. Um, let me just go back and say, of course, this is not the end all be all. You'll still have to go over this. You'll still have to plug in very specific information that um that speaks directly to your practice and what you offer your clients. Um, you just can't just cut and paste this and say this is good enough, right? This is still uh, a technology is not um, a human here. So you have to put your human touches. You have to look at, you know, the population that you're serving and determine what sort of information you're trying to collect, what kind of data you need to better support your clients, right? Customers or consumers. Um, so, but it, it gives you a starting point. It's a springboard of ideas where you can create something for yourself at a fraction of the time that it would have taken you to just kind of write all this out. Again, my goal is to bring out some of the positive ways that we can ethically use um, AI technology to help us it, who are working within the mental health field. We are business owners as well. And so we have to have certain information in place. So I hope this was helpful. Please like and share and be well. I'll see you soon. Take care.